Welcome back, guys, to Live Alive, where last episode we started taking on the game's remaining super bosses, battling the Golden Mammoth in prehistory after getting hold of the Rock of Rocks before returning to the twilight of Edo, Japan, where Boromaru alongside the prisoner and mimic Mammoth took on first Majin Ryunosuke, and then after watering our robots, we defeated Lord Awama in a long-fought battle. We now continue our fighting. Right then, Dominion of Hate is where we're off to. Our remaining three extra bosses are in there. So we join with Cube yet again. We load the save that it was, the clear save, which actually plops us out at the Archon Roost entrance before the boss sequence even plays out. But at this point in time, I have Cube and our party in the Trial of Wisdom. For a super boss appeared there after we finished it. As you can see, walking around that way. So our characters are a little bit stronger than they were at 20, 18, 18, and 7 with a bit more HP up because I did manage to get some more robotic parts. So they should be able to deal with whatever's going on in here quite well, is how you would think. But first of all, I have to figure out which is the, uh, which direction each button goes, you know? There we go. You wanna fight? The diode. Did I steal it, did I? Wisdom old of Yorakos. Machine Divine's gift, stolen by thieves. You! There we go, there's our music. So, what are we actually facing? in terms of stats here. Resistances to all melee, not to spells. I should probably... Just do this. Yeah. Sorry. No, no. It's about buffing you. So if it's not to anything but spells, then... I'll just buff myself. Because now we're playing the with like... The diode is not yours. Super damage again. Well, that's fine because we count a day recovery. All that HP back. And then we'll just do this, right? Hurricane is not a physical. <laughs> what else do we have here? Of course, we've got Death Blossom. Repair and restore you two to buff you guys up. I will return the favor. This is where it has some kind of like spell counter thing or something. <laughs> oh well, that was good. Detecting strange malfunctions. I was gonna say, with that paralysis, it seems that we hit. So you are. That was a little bit faster. I am. I'm done. Combo, combo, combo. <laughs> My precious diode. Hidden away. Deep, yet taken still. Oh, all is lost. All is. A cosmic helm. He's trying to make me feel bad about this. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> right, so basically this cosmic armor is the uh, the stuff we've been after. Anyone who drops something cosmic is considered to be like a super boss caliber, I guess. They had the music after all. So, for example, Jaggedy Jack was one. So where, how do we uh, work this thing? Well, who do we give this to? Because, of course, we get status immunities for certain things being on. So we need one person without it at this point. So it's you. Helm of Nightmares. Trade sleep for the Cosmic Helm. That's special attack quite a bit. And only lowers defense by one. 
I mean, if that levels up the power of his stupid bullet storm, that's great. Okay, well, that's one done. Now I need to get out of here and go on my way again. Thankfully, I don't have to go anywhere near the mirrors, yeah. Don't worry, I don't have to come this far in. I just have to leave through the actual door again. It's all good. Uh, I saw there was a question as well. That do I have uh, Obolomaru's sword? No, I do not. One, I'm pretty sure this sword is just as good, if not. Anyway, regardless, the uh, Osama, the legendary blade. But equally, you actually have to clear the chapters with them and then start from the start on this chapter to move anything or to change anything that's going on. So anything that Pogo obtained, anything that uh, Obolomaru just obtained, none of it actually carries over into this ongoing instance of the final level. You have to start again. More to the point, I'd have to complete those bosses to then start again. So, we are off to Archon's Roost for another super boss, but there is also another super boss that can be triggered anywhere on the field, which we will trigger on our lovely walk. Because one of our bosses here, and this was one I never have again found without looking at a guide, because it's just not something that I do in games. <laughs> and that is generally flee from battle. I like to do every battle I come in contact with. I like to do every battle that is forward in front of me. I consider it that's my way of leveling up and being like on par with the game's thing because I feel like a game will throw the amount of enemies it needs me to be to be on par with the thing in most games. Like a Trails or something like that. But interestingly, as we get no encounters whatsoever, there is a super boss that appears if you flee a certain amount of encounters. 100 encounters to be exact. My current amount, I think, of fleas is 94. A coward walks among us. Run away. Run. Run. Just five more times. Just five more times. So just imagine, like, the, first, the 28 years ago, the first people who were playing it without, like, online guides. Barely. Pretty much no, you know, it's the fledgling time, right? Not everyone was looking at them. <laughs> having fled a certain amount and having that come up. Of course, it wouldn't have been voice dialogue. But still. Run. Run. Just four more times. Just four more times. So yeah, that must have, like, freaked out some of the original 200k Japan uptakers. When they got that message saying they, like, if you flee more, something bad's gonna happen. And to be honest, I think if you're at the stage that you've been fleeing that many times, you'd have been pretty powerful. Because why do you normally want to flee from battle? Because you're more powerful than the enemies and it's kind of a waste of time. So low level runs, maybe. Run. Run. Just three more times. Just three more times. Run. Run. Just two more times. Just two more times. But yeah, this is like completely contrary to the way I play. So there's absolutely no way I'd have got this to happen. Run. Run. Just one more time. Just one more time. A hundred times you've run, run, run from death. But I am death foretold. Relentless doom. Twas cowardice that called me hither, child. Your fate is sealed. You'll flee no more. Now, die. It's 
the Death Prophet. It's quite interesting, really. The consideration being 100 times of fleeing out of cowardice is like... Nah. Nah, how can you flee? Yeah, there we go. Right, so it's resistant to spells and not to melee. It is resistant to jump attacks, interestingly. Don't know how resistant it is. <sighs> and we have two distinct. What will you do? Oh, I don't what know. What will you do? What, 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 what will I do? Which one of these does not back? Mine's this missile, right? Oh no! What was that? Well, he missed. All things must end. Except me, because I just walked away. I mean, Hurricane's still probably pretty good. It depends, actually. We don't know how. Uh, it works. Death Blossom I can do from range, though. So we know that a certain range. Uh, let's go and repair, restore uh, of Oromaru. Thank you. Because he's doing physical, at least. <laughs> Dimensional <laughs> Sundering. <laughs> That's quite damaging. Fine, I'm a tank now. Cast flowers to the wind. Ah. Only 63? Well, we might get some negative stats. Uh, no, he's resistant. Okay, cool. Eternal All the petrification is yours. <coughs> Unfortunately, I know that she's resistant to that. Zero? Oh, okay, so resists actually do zero it's damage. Over. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, 168 ain't bad. Defiant to the last. So ideally, then, I want to get you here. That's a big help. Your soul is mine. Yeah, the more this guy does this, the worse it is for him. Except I can't get any damage back, even with all the buffs. What's my highest damage? Too close for a heavenly peaks to send. That wasn't bad. It changed my location You've though. Run for long enough. Am I fully resistant or only kind of resistant? Oh wow, this guy's like completely resistant to. Uh, your moveset, I realize now. Thanks for looking out. Cast flowers to the wind. Ah. There we go, that's better. We can get some debuffs on the enemy. <laughs> Turn with one, are we? You were expecting something more threatening than a kitty cat? <sighs> kitty cats are threatening. You dare to flaunt the will of death? <sighs> That's a big help. I'm taking it, he's uh. Every time I do an attack, he's getting another attack, right? He's a goofy looking smile. That'd be a weird thing to tell the thing that's trying to kill you. You've got a goofy looking smile, by the way. Cast flowers to the wind. He's so fast. Ha! 
I'm just gonna hit cube with it. Oh, that that kills the cube. Dislike. Yes, I gotta. Let me just move over here where it's slightly safer. Probably best I pass. Doesn't matter if he's resistant if I get lots of hits. With I him. am inevitable. Keep tanking, Lee. There are certain attacks that seem to rip to the wind. all the way for you, Cube's high defenses. Seems probably not enough, but the buffs aren't bad. I know a hurricane will win the day. Oh no. I might be done. Pass. Let's start over. Pass! <laughs> Five thousand clip, Jay! Oh no! Stop it! The will of death divide. Yeah. Nothing Gonna stronger you to shame, old man. than the sundown kid in the corner. <laughs> I gave a lot of experience too. <sighs> but nothing for Cube. I've got a set of Cosmic Mail. Yeah, characters still get experience if they're alive. I mean, if they're unconscious. They only don't get experience if they're expelled from the battle. Right, Cosmic Mail has a big defense up. No other stats though. A super big defense up. Put it on cube, I guess. Maybe cube will survive a little bit more due to it. Okay, so that was super boss number five on our list, which leaves but one more. And to do that, we have to rock up and say hi to our favorite friend. I may as well just drop another save first. Just in case thing goes uh, awry. Well, things are completely set back before the first meeting. And it is the first meeting that I missed the prompt on. I exclaimed that I it was weird that I could do X and, you know, but I didn't do Y until the second time that that was given an option and it led us down the good route. It led us to the path we wanted to take. Of course, other things also hinted towards that, other games that I've played, but still. Come hither. Let us speak. I 
am your host. The Lord of Dark. The Archon Odio. And so it's at this point I said, oh, we can leave, can we? I just didn't. To flee is folly. This you shall soon learn. This realm is my domain. And I, its king. Okay, then. O oh, children, out of time and out of place, your wonderlust will lead you unto death. The Headhunter. I kind of like how the battle arena, and I kind of like how the uh, stage is given the grid still. Right, I don't know what you... Well, I could probably target you with something, right? Uh, resistance to everything. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, that works. Let's go with the same strategy, because you've got the highest HP, right? Be this close? Yeah. Well, what was that? Seems hard to hit too. Oh no! Okay then. So I've got a balance keeping people alive while also watching them be dropped magnificently large amounts of damage on them. Uh, I might pass, because again, he might be triggered by multiple sources of damage. Let's start over. Oh my god, Lay. I might be done. You might be done, actually. The guy's debuffing himself a lot. Uh, I have to use something to heal her this turn from range. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. Because if he does indeed get another attack on a counter... That would wreck us. Here. That would leave Lei completely out. She'll pay you back double. Fine, I got a hurricane. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. We're, we're good. <clears throat> we just need to survive to a second one of them. Poor Lay. Oh, no. Don't worry, Lay. Unfortunately, over. this is just basically your role. So, uh... Enjoy. You're, you're securing success for everyone else. I might be done. Always look on the bright side of life. one's the one that gives buff, if anything? Do I not have any of them anymore? Seemingly not. That's sad. I'm out of them proper. Here. It'll 
pay you back double. He's ready to go again. I was gonna say, who's to, she was chosen to die this time. <sighs> My boy Mario's like, uh, attack. <laughs> Why would you do this? That's a big I am help. ready. Why would you put me here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, you better kill him this time. Oh, okay. No worries. We're good. I was about to say, our charge time is actually maxed out. Here. Let's start over. <clears throat> it's fine. We got the sundown kid. All our strategies are all around him. We are victorious. We got a Genji Glove randomly. We obtained a pair of cosmic boots. And no more menacing words about things that we have done. Cosmic boots. They also give defense. Lower speed. The boots of an archon that stalks a rift outside of time in search of souls. So again, it seems to be mainly that uh, resistance of petrify that all these things come with. Once someone's got a piece, it kind of doesn't make sense for them to have another one. And now we are deposited back at the seat of the betrayers, which makes us far, far away. So to flee and to fight that boss is to be pushed away, having to come back a long way. I guess if I survive, it's all good. So that... That... The super bosses. Now we go for an alternative chapter. Let's return to, uh, well, let's save up. Return to character select. So it's time to enter the Dominion of Hate from a different route. Let's go. The fish was the worst.